I then became a bricklayer. <laughs> and I've got this thing here, which I must read to you. Now, this is a very tragic thing. I shouldn't read it out. Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm not getting too high, Brown. <laughs> a striking lesson in keeping the upper lip stiff is, no, wait, wait, <laughs> is given in a recent number of the weekly bulletin of the Federation of Civil Engineering Contractors which prints the following letter from a bricklayer in Golders Green to the firm for whom he worked. Respected sir, when I got to the top of the building, I found that the hurricane had knocked some bricks off the top. See? <laughs> so I rigged up a beam with a pulley at the top of the building and hoisted up a couple of barrels full of bricks. When I had fixed the building, there was a lot of bricks left over. <laughs> I hoisted the barrel back up again and secured the line at the bottom and then went up listen, and fill the barrel with extra bricks. Then I went to the bottom and cast off the line. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> The barrel of bricks was heavier than I was. <laughs> and before I knew what was happening, the barrel started down, jerking me off the ground. Jerking me off the ground. I decided to hang on. <laughs> and halfway up I met the barrel coming down <laughs> and received a severe blow <laughs> on the shoulder <laughs> <laughs> I then continued to the top <laughs> banging me head against the beam <laughs> and getting my fingers jammed in the pulley. <laughs> when the barrel hit the ground, it burst at its bottom, <laughs> allowing all the bricks <laughs> <laughs> to spill out. <laughs> I was no heavier than the barrel. <laughs> So started down again <laughs> at high speed. <laughs> Halfway 
long? <laughs> I met the barrel coming up. At this point, I must have lost my presence of mind. <laughs> because I let go the line. <laughs> Sick leave. 